Hello again, and welcome back to Deerhead Workbench. It's Chuck here with you. And uh, as you can see here, we got another kit we've been working out here, kind of laid out on the bench so we can kind of get a look at what's been going on with this guy. He's kind of been working on this, you know, in between other builds. And uh, what we got here, this is the uh, the recent reissue of the, uh, the old monogram kit, the Grim Reaper Chopper. And uh, as you can see, we've kind of got a little bit going on here. Um, built up the wheels for the bike. Um, the the tires aren't actually rubber in this kit. They're more like a uh, like a hard type PVC vinyl, but uh, they still go together well. You just gotta do a little clean up on them, and your um, rim has to pretty much sandwich the tire together. Uh, I wasn't sure about what kind of glue to use on the tires, so I didn't really even glue the seam together on the tires. It's just kind of trapped in there by the rim and. So far, everything's cool with that. I don't have any gap issues or anything, and they're looking good. And uh, got the seat here, the old king and queen style seat that we used to see on the older choppers. And I uh, basically just, you know, shot this with some uh, craft acrylic black, and then shot it with a couple of coats of Krylon Matte Clear to give it sort of a sheen, but not make it too dang shiny. Uh, I'm just gonna say maybe it's some vinyl, you know. That's what it kind of looks like. And uh, I just did this earlier today. We did up the uh, California license plate. Uh, I wasn't positive about the colors, but usually it's blue with yellow letters, so that's what I went with. I mixed up two blues to get the shade I got on here and just did the uh, yellow with some craft acrylic. I think it's called Moon Yellow. And we did the uh, little piece here in a gray. Uh, I might go back and find a decal for that. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be your year sticker of your plate. And uh, let's see, the other thing is uh, this kit, if you get this thing, this was kind of a disappointment for me. Um, as you can see, we've got the forks here for this thing and uh, the uh, sissy bar, and uh, you're probably wondering why they're black. <laughs> well, uh, they came molded in the same color as the kit, and that was kind of a letdown for me in a way because, uh, you know, the biggest thing on a chopper like this that would probably naturally be chrome would be the whole entire front end and the sissy bar. So what I've done is uh, just kind of went over them and cleaned them up as good as I could. You know, I got rid of the flash lines and molding lines and stuff like that. And I uh, shot them with some black. And I shot them with a couple of coats of clear. And uh, the forks themselves have still got a little bit. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but they're still not completely smooth. So I'm probably going to sand on these one more time. And uh, hit them with clear again and get them slicked up some more. We're going to... Either shoot these with uh, polished or aluminum or chrome from uh, AK Interactive, the extreme metal stuff that I've been using for metal. So those will hopefully those will come out looking pretty cool when that's all done. And uh, uh, also related to the front end, I don't know whether this will come through on the camera or not. Uh, maybe like this, but these are the lenses for the uh, the headlights. That's probably not coming through on camera. I'm getting a terrible shot on this, but anyway, uh, I decided to take these clear lenses and uh, tint them so they look sort of what the box art looks like which is kind of like a yellowish amber so I just mixed a little bit of to me a clear yellow and a little small smidge of clear orange together and just misted it on the back side of the lens that's what I came up with just lay those over here in the foreground and uh, over here in the back we've got uh, the frame and the tank and the uh, rear fender uh, the rear fender is looking pretty good I'm trying to see if I can you know, maybe throw a little light on there so you can catch a look at the shine on there. Um, everything's been, uh, you know, clear coated with clear lacquer and I've wet sanded this stuff and buffed it out. You probably see right here, it's a little rough right there. Uh, I didn't really worry about that. That's going to get all covered by the seat, so we won't be seeing that. Just mainly this back and this forefront piece here and the sides of the, of the fender. And uh, this is the, uh, the tank for the bike. Uh, I had a mishap with this thing. Uh, I was in here, you know, working on my, my buffing and waxing on this thing. I accidentally dropped it on the floor, and then hit the back end and put a crack in the in the clear. So I reshot it with clear. You could probably maybe see, but it's not quite slick right through here. That's uh, like I said because we're gonna cut this again with wet sand and uh, rebuff it again, and it should come out fine then. And we've done the same deal back here with the frame. Uh, you know, clear coat, a wet sand and buff, 
and uh, the color I used on this, the, the bike on the on the box art looks kind of like a purplish, kind of bluish kind of color or whatever. So uh, I used uh, craft acrylics again. I mixed up um, some uh, folk art blue sapphire and some of the apple barrel purple iris opaque together. And I don't know what in the hell is coming through like on the camera, but in person it's kind of a bluish metallic with kind of like a purplish kind of haze to it you know from that opaque purple being in there and I thought it looked pretty cool so that's that's what I went with and uh, over here lastly we got uh, the engine which uh, pretty much got everything on there now just about I think I just put the spark plugs in uh, earlier and uh, some of the parts on this too are, are molded in white so if you want to work around it um, on some of the parts I used the uh, chrome foil HVAC tape and just burnished it on there which uh, you can probably tell in the camera this ain't perfect that's what that's done with it's got some little you know little scuffs and stuff on which you know a, a ridden bike it's gonna have some scuffs and stuff there most likely and the air cleaner was also covered with the foil tape and for some odd reason two of the push rods were molded in chrome but two weren't so I took the the furthest back push rods and wrapped them with the chrome foil tape and uh, we also did the uh, wrap the starter case with that stuff and uh, we did some gunmetal paint color on the end of the starter and uh, I'm not sure yet I may shoot this with some clear just to you know protect this chrome over time so it doesn't go bad even if it knocks it down a little bit I think it would be a good idea because this thing's mostly chrome and uh, I guess uh, for this little update on this little guy, that's about it. I just wanted to throw this out there and let, let everybody know that, uh, yeah, we're, we always got something going on around here. Like I said, I've, I've always got kits in the background going on. So we'll, we'll do our best to kind of throw out some videos of what we got going on here. Um, also, while I'm here, uh, like I said in my last video, I'm kind of going through changing over on my video editing software. So it's going to be a little shaky for a few videos until I get used to the new interface of what I'm using now. Um, and uh, also I had said something about doing a slideshow of the, uh, the the big 350 TOS Enterprise that we're building here. Which as soon as I you know get a handle on this new software and I know what I'm doing with it, yeah, I'll get a slideshow of that up. I'm sorry I haven't done it yet, but we'll get it up. You'll see it. And that's kind of uh, the next thing you'll see on it for a little while because I'm also... Um, gearing up to possibly be in a model contest so I'm going to kind of put that stuff to the forefront that's going to be you know taking priority over some of the other stuff until that's over but that'll be over uh, at the end of the year or sooner so uh, I guess like I say that's enough for this update and uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you on the next one and uh, take care